Hello everyone, I am Ümit Alkuş. In this video, we will solve one problem about electric charge. Four particles of charges E, negative 2E, negative E and 5E are placed at points 0, 0, 3 cm 0, 0, 2 cm and 3 cm, 2 cm, respectively. Find the magnitude and direction of the net Coulomb force on charge E due to the other three charges. Coulomb constant is K equal to 8.99 times 10 to 9 Newton meter squared over Coulomb squared. And elementary charge is E 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 Coulombs. Ok, let's solve the problem. The Coulomb force due to charge negative 2E on charge E is an attractive force which is to the right. According to the Coulomb force formula, its magnitude is K times magnitude of E times magnitude of negative 2E over 3A squared and its direction is i hat, that is in the positive x direction. So calculation gives 2 over 9 times k times e squared over a squared i hat. Secondly, the Coulomb force on charge E due to negative E is again an attractive force and its magnitude is k times absolute value of E times absolute value of negative E over 2A squared and its direction is J hat that is positive Y direction. If you calculate you obtain 1 fourth K times E squared over A squared J hat. Finally the Coulomb force on charge E due to 5E is a repulsive force. However before finding this force, let us calculate the distance between E and 5E. It is calculated by the Pythagorean theorem in the right triangle as square root of 2A squared plus 3A squared, which is equal to square root of 13A. Therefore, the magnitude of force F3 is K times absolute value of E times absolute value of 5E over square root of 13 a squared and the direction is cosine theta negative i hat plus sine theta negative j hat from the right triangle cosine theta is 3 over square root of 13 and sine theta is 2 over square root of 13 so the result is 5 over 13 times k e squared over a squared times negative 3 over square root of 13 i hat minus 2 over square root of 13 j hat. Therefore, the net clone force on charge E due to the other three charges is the sum of these three forces, that is, f1 plus f2 plus f3. Then, if we put the corresponding values of these forces into this formula, we obtain in the x direction as 2 over 9 k e squared over a squared minus 15 over 13 square root of 13 k e squared over a squared. And in the y direction, we have 1 fourth k e squared over a squared minus 10 over 13 square root of 13 k e squared over a squared. Now, if we put the numerical values of k, e, and a, which is 1 cm, where the unit of centimeters is not an SI unit, and we convert it into meters as 1 times 10 to negative 2 meters. Therefore, the calculation gives, which is in newtons, or simply, 
The magnitude of this net force is found by the formula, which is approximately in 3 digits, 2.40 times 10 to negative 25 newtons. And to find the direction of the net force, we use this formula. Then we obtain negative 20.546 degrees. However, because F net is in the second region, we add 180 degrees to this angle. As a result, the direction of the net Coulomb force on charge E due to the other three charges is found to be approximately 159 degrees. Okay, this result brings us to the end of the discussion of this problem. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.